All right, guys, we're getting ready to move these hail bays or straw bale. I can't even talk. Yeah, what was that again? <laughs> All right, guys, we're getting ready to move the straw bales onto the pickup truck. We have no idea what we're doing, but we're going to give it a shot. I got my oldest son here helping out, and there's Vinny over there. And they got it moved on the tarp. I didn't come out here in time to catch that, but we're getting it moved. Let's see what these uh, young men can do. How heavy is it, Devin? Really heavy. I'm just super strong. Oh, move. you're running over plants. That's okay. Those aren't important. I told you guys to move them. Oh, okay. You had to give them time to move them. It's okay. Those weren't going to come anyway. These are connected. What the heck? Yeah, I'll try and pick one up but they're connected. Open up, Mom. No, thank you. Mm -hmm. Michael. Try and see if you can look it. Can we lay? Is there a way we can lay it on the side without anything that's growing out of it? So the wind. So the tomatoes won't die in the wind wow. when you're driving. They'll be on their side. Or is that going to be too difficult? Or can we put another tarp on top, maybe? Well, we need to do something to protect the tomato plants from the drive. So you're flipping it on the side, right? flipping it on the side, so the tomato well, plants are laying against. No. If we need to do that. I'll just put it in the other vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. You want to do that? Either one. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can do it in the other vehicle. Tell me anything about having to protect it. Oh, I thought I did. I'm sorry. Yeah, it needs, because driving down the freeway at 70 miles an hour, those tomato plants are going to get beat up. Yeah. I mean, with this one, we could leave it in the car and just lay it on its side, and then the others we could put in the other car. We're going to drive all these back and forth. Well, we might have to do it in two days. Just, I don't know. How heavy were they? Not heavy. Not, not that bad? They should transport pretty good though? Well, for this one, we could just put something over it to protect it, like another tarp. Or a sheet, or a blanket. Or a sheet, or a blanket or something. A light blanket. What? Why don't you poke holes through the like, sticks things through a blanket? Put the blanket through like that for all of them because they Because if we go ahead and do like uh, two of the hay bales in this one and just put like a sheet or something to help protect it, we're going to hold the sheet down going 70 miles an hour. Well, you're going to have to tie it off on the truck or it's, or it's not like the Ford. Maybe with a uh, those things that have the that you can tension the tie down. You think it's gonna work, Brandon? This one has, see, the problem with this one, it has growth on both sides. I planted on both sides of that bale. So it's got the squash on both sides. There's not a, well, we got to get it up there and just try to protect them as much as we can. Like I said, maybe a sheet or something to go over it.
Okay, we're gonna figure this out. No bad words, Dad. You could also take the back roads. <laughs> Devin? What? Maybe take the back road so you don't go so fast? No? Too long? Okay, they're going to move the second one. That's a watermelon plant, I think, or a pumpkin plant, one of the two. He's sticking a stick in there to tighten the twine. Oh, it's how you get it on the tarp. He's gonna blow out his back doing this. No, he'll be alright. He's not that old. What is he doing? Oh, is he putting that in to make he's it tight and he's using the stick to pick it up? This is a very, um, <laughs> this is a PG channel. Good job, honey. I don't know if it's going to survive or not. Did it get yanked out? No. Maybe I should put that on top of the bale? Yeah. What if we yeah. Could, we could use the types under it to yeah. cover it up to you. This side? Yeah. Holy crap. This is really Oh my gosh. You see that giant beetle? Just do the best we can. What if we use... There we go. Okay, you got the squash plant Ready? looped over. Okay, men. Are you going to be able to lift it? Is this one heavier than the last? Probably. Got it? Holy. <laughs> oh, I squished that all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, we do the best we can. It'll be okay. When you get there, just fluff it up. Where are we putting them? In the backyard ne near the shed. It's in the grass? Yeah. Like on that side of the yard, on the back side of the yard. There's a gate on that side. You can't get to that gate with the truck. Yeah, you can. No, we're not going to. We're not going to drive through there. That's we got a wheelbarrow. We'll put these on the wheelbarrow. Okay. We have to. I may have squished uh, the squash in between those, but that's okay. It is what it is. We do the best we can. Make this thumbnail up. Oh, that might have been a hiccup. We might have lost those squash plants on the side, but that's okay. But before they get these, I'm going to go ahead and yank that squash off. I don't know if I should take the babies off. I have no idea. This one I'm worried about. This one's going to have to be transported all by itself. Let's see. What do we got here? I'm going to go ahead and pluck Should I pluck that or leave it? I'm gonna wait. I don't know what to do. Is that a cucumber? Yeah, these are cucumbers. I'll eat those like. I love cucumbers. Here's what we potted today out of the ground. I potted. Now you potted the strawberries. You did everything else. 
and the watermelon's looking quite sad. Watermelon does not like to be transplanted out of the ground. So, we just do the best we can. Is this the watermelon? No, that's a squash and it's looking sad too. Just leave it be. <sighs> we do the best we can. Those are the watermelons. Well, don't flip them.